The winner of the 2016 NBA Championship will be the Cleveland Cavaliers. I have to apologize. The real winner of the 2015 NBA Championship is John Cena. having a great day. So last week I made my prediction video about the NBA championship in which I said the Cleveland Cavaliers are going to win the championship this year. However, no prediction is perfect or without its flaws and like always there is a potential for an upset. In every series the higher ranked team is the favorite to win but there's always that team that comes along and doesn't quite get the memo and just knocks them out of the first round. So in this video we're going to be taking a look at some teams that are most likely to cause an upset in the NBA playoffs. Right now we're only going to be looking at first round upset because I can't really make a second round upset when I don't know what happens the first round. For the sake of this video, we're just going to use the standings for both conferences as they stand right now. With the regular season pretty much already over, I'm pretty sure it's not going to change much. But we're going to start in the Western Conference. In the West, there's only one team that I think is capable of pulling off a first round upset. The Thunder vs. Trailblazers. That's going to be a really fun series to watch. Lots and lots of scoring. Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum vs. Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. Don't get me wrong. I think the Thunder are going to take the series in five games. However, if Damian Lillard and CJ McCollum set fire, set straight fire to the Oklahoma City Thunder throughout the entire series, then I believe there is a strong chance that that could be a first round upset. Other than that, in the West, I don't really see any other first round upsets. I don't see the Warriors, the Spurs, the Clippers. I don't even honestly see the Thunder losing. Now moving on to the East. No team is safe, especially you can. If LeBron James doesn't show up, <laughs> It's over. It is a free-for-all. I feel like in the East, every single series will at least go to six games. But in the East, other maybe than the Raptors or Cavs losing in the first round, I don't think you can necessarily call anything else upset. Like I said in my other video, the East is very tight this year, especially three through six. I don't think any of those can be considered an upset no matter who wins. Maybe if Boston beats Miami, that might be a little bit of an upset, but not nearly as much of an upset as if Portland were to beat the Oklahoma City Thunder. But yeah, that's about it for this video. I have something to ask you guys. Would you guys be interested if I did a live stream of the NBA Finals? I'm not talking about like live streaming the actual game, like where I like where I record my TV or something. I'm not trying to get my account deleted, all right? If I host like a chat on my channel where it's basically like we could all watch the NBA Finals together, you know, like just talk and, and stuff during the NBA Finals, I think that would be pretty cool. So if you guys want to see that, come Comment down in the comment section below and let me know. Also remember to like this video and if you haven't already, subscribe to the team, the only team that stays getting buckets, Team SDC, and I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace. I know you saw the articles. I know you guys saw all the articles floating around that had to do with my Detroit Pistons. Yes, it's the article where ex-Pistons great Chauncey Billups came out and said that the Pistons would have been much better, not only much better, but they would have won at least three championships if they had drafted Carmelo Anthony instead of he who shall not be named.